2016's Terrifier is must-watch horror in my opinion. I was blown away with the movie when it first came out. And David Howard Thornton's portrayal of Art the Clown really catapulted that character into instant horror icon status in my opinion. And for good reason. So naturally I had to rush out and find an action figure to add to my collection. Trick or Treat Studios offers the 1-6 scale version of Art the Clown, but I was really looking for something that would scale with some of my 90s action figures, and boy, did they really hit the mark with this figure. That packaging looks like it came straight from the 90s, and they've done this before with their House of a Thousand Corpses figures. I do not have any of those figures, but after acquiring this one, I may look into picking some of those up because I totally get what Trick or Treat Studios was going for here. It reminds me very much so of something from Kenner or Toy Biz in the 90s. You know, you get the limited articulation, the arms move up and down, the legs move forward and back, uh, but the sculpt on the face is just great and it has really awesome accessories that come along with it. This little trash bag that opens up and you, could, you get all of Art the Clown's uh, weapons of torture <laughs> and all that. So a really neat figure with some really neat details. But one of the coolest little features is when you submerge this action figure into ice cold water, you get the blood splatter reveal. And I tried doing this by spraying some water on there. I don't think I got the water quite cold enough, but it's a really neat thing to have a color change action figure in 2023. And as you see, it scales so great with some of the Kenner figures. You can set up all sorts of, of scenes if you want to from the movie potentially or, or play out whatever you want. But I, I do like that not only does it have the scale of a Toy Biz or Kenner figure, there's also something about the figure's accessory, that black trash bag, the way that it opens up and you can store the accessories in there. It just really reminds me of a figure from the 90s. And, and I can't tell you the last time I bought a color changing action figure, you know, that was manipulated by either the sunlight or cold water, but uh, I think it's uh, a really, really neat thing that they did. And here we are once again, right? Now the Joker has a new ally in the war uh, in Gotham versus Batman. So I think maybe Art the Clown is a little taller than these figures, but that's okay. Uh, it's close enough and it works. And Trick or Treat Studios has a lot of these figures uh, in the queue lined up, ready to come out. You see the Goosebumps figures coming out next year. And the Toxic Crusader, not quite the same. It's closer to what the Playmates figure looks like. I'm real excited about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre figures. October is a magical time for us here at Two Day Rentals, and I know it is for a lot of you viewers out there. I've got lots of my horror figures and movie merchandise out of my fireplace for display to get in the mood. So tell me, do you decorate for Halloween? Do you think you maybe you're going to pick up this Art the Clown figure by Trick or Treat Studios, or do you have your eyes on any of the other future releases they have in this same scale and style? I'd love to know. I'm always looking for horror movie suggestions as well, so drop me a few that you think are worthy. And if you're new here, I would really love it if you took the time to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and as always, be kind as you rewind and fast forward through time. Thanks for stopping by.